Hello, everybody. As you can see, this is me recording in the same outfit because I'm recording in batches. So if you watched yesterday's video, I am also recording this video and many others on the same day. <laughs> Since I wanted to talk about my art, I thought it made more make more sense since all of these are already drawn out anyways. Didn't notice that cord there. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you the rat prince that I drew. If you saw the last video, I showed the rat princess. Um, this is a part of my fall series. Um, I am not doing typical autumn colors. I wanted to do pastels, um, which I realize not very fall-like, but sometimes it's nice uh, to have a little flash of color during that time. Um, this was a drawing mostly for me. Uh, I really love fancy rats. Um, so I wanted to do a few rat drawings in the series. Um, not the only animal, but definitely one of my favorites. Um, I used to have a bunch of fancy rats at various stages of my life. Currently, I don't have any. Um, but I do have three cats, so probably a good thing I don't have fancy rats. Sometimes they'll be nice to each other, but I don't know. It depends cat to cat, right? Maybe rat to cat. Anyway, uh, in this design, <clears throat> um, I wanted him to seem large. <laughs> Uh, one of my last fancy rats. He was a pretty big boy. Um, so I wanted this uh, rat to have like a very large outfit. Uh, my partner said these kind of look like MC Hammer pants. Um, and I, I agree. Um, and then I have uh, his boots. It's got a little bit of that faux fur on it, a little touch, just because he's wearing quite a bit of it. And it it's even a part of like the uh, really huge collar of his jacket. Um, he's also wearing like a one of those like chain belts, and it's got a little bit of like a a, a bit of a decoration on there. Um, I also wanted him to wear a hat for some reason. I thought it looked pretty neat. Um, and I wanted to continue that little design uh, from there to down here. Um, I wanted him to look imposing, but not like super scary, but just kind of like, I don't know, full of himself. Um, but not too full of himself. Um, here is the time lapse. I might have to zoom in so you can see what's going on. Uh, the sketching period didn't really take too long. I think most of my time actually just went into building up the design, uh, like the line art for it. Um, this one's a little more detailed than the princess in different ways. Uh, the princess rat has a lot of hair, so maybe it adds up. Um, but this one's definitely pretty busy. But honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I tried to do some different shapes than I usually work on and a couple different elements. Um, I'm trying to practice a lot more. Uh, the colors I did initially apparently do some fall color. Um, but I, like I said, I wanted to keep that 
um, that pastel theme going on, um, especially since I'm making like like printables um, for people who want to print things at home. Um, so this just made it a lot easier for me. Also, I think it I think it's cool color combos. Um, and that's all I really have to say about this. I drew it in Procreate. If you don't know the app, uh, it's on the iPad. Um, it's been a useful tool. Um, I wish they'd update it and add some new tool options or a little more uh, customization of the um, symmetry tool since I tend to use them a lot. Otherwise, very happy with the program, very happy with the drawing, and I hope that you enjoyed today's little art piece and that you come back for the one tomorrow. <laughs> and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And I'll talk to you then. Peace out.